What's up everyone, this is Dr. Webb here. Make sure you subscribe. New videos come every week, you don't wanna miss them. In this video today, I'm going to be talking about how I knew surgery was for me. For those who are unaware, in your third and fourth year of medical school, you spend time in the hospital. So you do your rotations in, um, in anesthesia, and dermatology, and pathology, neurology, neurosurgery, orthopedic surgery. You do it in internal medicine, pediatrics, and you rotate through these specialties. And this is when most people decide on a specialty. Some people come into medical school and they know exactly what they want to go into. Others don't find out until late. And for me, I was a late decision maker upon orthopedic surgery. So I really like the idea of the flexible work nature of an ER doctor. You can work shifts, eight hour shifts, and you come home. You don't have to worry about your pager or uh, you know, worrying about a the nurse calling you from your patient that's admitted to the hospital or planning surgeries or all of those things. And you get to do procedures, so which I, I loved working with my hands. Then I was interested in urology and also ENT, ear, nose, and throat uh, doctor, but I didn't want to be confined to this portion of the body. I wanted to work on, you know, all different types of the body, the knee, the ankle, the hip, the spine. So that's why I came up, uh, across orthopedic surgery. But it was always, for me, a field that utilized my hands. I love working with my hands and I know in order to be happy and to be satisfied with my choice of career, it would have to be something with my hands versus other specialties where you're doing, you're using most of your brain. And surgeons will use our brain plus our hands. So for me was actually on a rotation, anesthesia rotation. That was one of the rotations in my third year of medical school. And I remember you know, I don't remember the exact surgery. I think it was actually a general surgery case. But during the anesthesia rotation, you spend time with the CRNA and also the anesthesiologist. And you learn about the breathing machine, the ventilator. You learn about different medications that they're giving. You learn about putting IVs in, central lines, how to intubate the patient, which means put a endial tracheal tube into their throat so they can breathe during the surgery and you know all that was really fun and it was really uh, interesting and it was you know that first half of the time the patients in surgery you know you're the man you're like doing all these things and uh, all of a sudden kind of calms down and not a lot goes on unless you know a patient becomes unstable in surgery but for the most part there it, it, it kind of plateaus and the anesthesiologist can kind of chill out and kind of wash the machine and uh, give the patient medications here and there. But for me, that whole time during the surgery, you know, after we got the patient situated and things and got them off to sleep and the surgery was, um, had, you know, started, that whole time I was looking over the drapes because there's a big drape that goes, you know, over the patient's body to separate and protect the anesthesiologist and the anesthesia team from the surgery, that whole time my, my head was like this here, looking over the drape and just amazed at the, uh, the surgeons. And I just love everything about it, you know, from the sterile technique to handing off instruments to, you know, looking at different parts of the body that we had learned about in, in class. And I was like, wow, that is so cool. So at that point, I knew that surgery was for me. And uh, that was the best feeling ever because you go through these years of medical school and you're going back and forth, well, whether I should do this, maybe I should do this, maybe I should do this, maybe it's this specialty. I don't know what I wanna do, I like everything. And one day it's gonna hit you and you, it's gonna click and you're gonna figure out what it is that you wanna do for the rest of your life. So that's the best feeling ever. And I remember being at home in my apartment in med school and, and just, it finally hit me. I was like, I wanna do orthopedics. And that was it. And here, you know, that was 
seven years ago, eight years ago, and um, I still love what I do. Uh, orthopedics is the best field ever. Every specialist is going to tell you their field is the best. T go talk to a neurologist. Oh, neurologist. Ne neurology is the best field ever. Uh, talk to a neurosurgeon. Neurosurgery is the best field ever. Pediatrician. Pediatrics is the best. Don't look at those other fields. Pediatrics. Go into pediatrics. So you're going to have uh, all those types of uh, conversations. But it's a lot of fun. That was when I knew that surgery was for me. You know, I would rather spend my time in the operating room in surgery versus on the floor, you know, taking care of patients or in the ER. And you just have to figure out, you know, where you would like to spend your time. And uh, if it's in the operating room, go be a surgeon. If it's in the ER, go be an emergency medicine doctor. Or if it's in, you know, spending time in the patient's rooms, on the floors, consulting with other services, maybe internal medicine, pediatrics. But it, it just is simply not in the operating room. I spend a lot of time in the ER seeing patients. I spend a lot of time on the floor taking care of patients. So I get a good mixture. So that is when I knew that I wanted to be a surgeon. I hope this video helps you guys in your decision making when you're trying to choose a specialty. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.